Halo Infinite will have no per match XP at launch, and the only way to progress through the battle pass in Infinite Multiplayer will be through the challenge system. A system that also interacts with monetizable challenge swaps. This is concerning, <laughs> and seems to be completely overlooking the feedback they've received on their own previous product, the Master Chief Collection. A lack of any progression system outside of the challenges will not keep players motivated, and I think it directly incentivizes players to purchase those challenge swaps if they want to progress faster. On a bigger note, no per match XP at launch, inferring that they may add a basic progression system later down the road, well, this just screams Halo 5 all over again. I can just see it now. Coming in Season 3, XP earned per match, and it no doubt will be sold as a positive marketing beat that we've heard your concerns and are now adding a feature that's standard in literally every other competitor FPS. Think of how this will also impact the gameplay within the title. Daily challenge for sniper kills. Watch how many players will leave matches off the start if they don't get the snipe pull, or they'll just back out if they don't get a map variant with the snipe in it. Now, if there's a case to be made here on why this system is better for the player, and that there's been firm intentional like research and thought behind it, rather than XP being something that hit the cutting floor due to lack of time, I'm all for it, okay? But no long-term XP system will absolutely not fly and will lead to player disengagement. That's just my opinion. Simply put, I don't believe that progression only being based on challenge progression and not gameplay performance or activity completion will yield a successful long-term retention for players. I think it will be a detriment to matchmaking and will take away from the established XP progression systems of just about every single FPS out there, not to mention their own franchise, Halo. I mean, look back at Reach for goodness sakes. More so if players offer overwhelmingly negative feedback to this route, which online it sure seems that way, we likely will be waiting a long time before any changes are made. If there is zero plan for XP based on match performance or activity completion, I don't think that is something they can just easily patch in. It likely requires quite a bit of dev work, art assets, research, etc. Finally, it just creates too easy of a narrative that the battle pass is the only progression within Infinite. And I don't want to sound overly negative, but man, it sure seems like 343 is shooting themselves in the foot over and over again with things that are blatantly obvious missteps. No campaign co-op at launch, that's an absolute staple of the franchise. Plus, they have gone on record so many times about the no split-screen campaign and Halo 5 thing being an error that they will remedy in the next title. No Forge for six months, again. Back of the box features just not making it in, and now this XP system thing. Look, I want to hope in Infinite and the team, but that kind of trust is earned, and after 2014 MCC's release quality, and Halo 5's release quality, like the bare bones launch with features being added over time, I just can't give that trust back with Infinite until we see the results. And it sure seems like day one Infinite is going to be <sighs> some setbacks, man, some real shortcomings that seem like pretty obvious missteps. I don't want another cyberpunk situation, but these blows are starting to sting. Now, after two years of updates, do I think Infinite will be rocking and rolling and a sweet experience? Yeah. I do. I mean, look at MCC the last few years. I think they can do similar with it. But coming out of, you know, the gate with a feature-rich, complete game on day one just doesn't seem to be in the cards for 343 Halo anymore, and that, that's a bummer. Look back at the Master Chief Collection, how different the game was as soon as they added just a very basic progression system. It radically changes things. And it's just, I don't know, man, you've got challenge swaps available in... <laughs> infinite and then the only progression is related to those challenges i don't like it and unless they can create a really strong narrative that this is player first and player focused you're gonna have a, a lot of, of of just issues here simple as that man and i want to see halo succeed as much as possible so i'd be curious to know what you guys think of this now if you want we covered the no forge no co-op announcement you can click that video on the screen right now to catch up and a great new August update for Inside Infinite just went live on HaloWaypoint.com. Linked below. Have a good rest of your day. Thanks for watching.